Good morning, Ryan from Paris here. Just a quick video to show you the basic controls of your new vehicle. So I will start off on the steering wheel and I'll work my way around the whole vehicle, showing you how to work all the bits and bobs. Okay, so on the steering wheel here, you have got your control panel. Okay, so you've got the okay, so when you've got your trip computer up, you can also use the arrows here to scroll through your trip computer so you can sort of see how many miles you've got left to empty. Um, you've got a trip timer, MPG, average speed, and then your speedometer, okay? On the right hand side you've got your Bluetooth and volume controls. I will show you how to set the Bluetooth up in a moment, but your volume controls are this one up and down. You've also got skip songs on the outer two, okay, and then answer and decline calls when your Bluetooth's connected up. Down on the left hand side of the steering wheel is where your cruise control and your speed limiter is. Okay, so to set cruise control you push this like this, and it will come up just up the top there saying set. And to set it, you just get to your desired speed and push it up like that, and then you can adjust accordingly when you're driving. To cancel it, you just pull that towards you, and that will cancel out the cruise control. On the left-hand side, you've got your indicators, okay, and obviously your flashes. Then on the right-hand side, you've got your window wipers, okay. So pull it down once for the front, or push it up. The higher you go, the faster they'll go, okay. And then for the rear one, you've got this little dial on the end there. To do the washer jets, pull this one towards you for the front and we'll squirt those and push it away from you for the rear, okay? Down here, you've got your lighting controls. So to turn your lights on, you simply turn it twice like that to your main beams or you've got your side lights or off, okay? You've also got the headlight level adjustments here and the brightness of the display on that end one there. Up on the door handle, you've got the lock and unlock button for the vehicle. And then on the driver's door, you've got all four window controls and your two external mirror controls as well. Okay, so you can actually lock the rear windows as well. So if you've got children, dogs, anyone in the back that you don't want to unlock the vehicle, uh, unlock the windows, you can just do that. You can still control them from here, but they won't be able to in the rear, okay? Two cup holders, you've got your 12 volt just here. And then inside the glove box, you've got an auxiliary point and a USB point. Okay, I'll show you how to use those as well. You've got your stop start. So when you get to a set of traffic lights, as long as the engine's up to temperature, it will cut out uh, when you're in neutral. Put your foot back on the clutch into first gear and the engine will cut back in, okay? Then you've got your front and rear heated window here. And then your controls for the heating. So you've got your fan speed, you've got hot and cold settings, then you've got your fan direction on this one, okay? The AC will only work as long as it's on at least number one, okay? So this dial has to be on at least number one for that to work. And then you've got your air recirculation button there. Okay, got your radio up there. So at the moment it's programmed into radio one. So you can adjust that. You can go FM and AM and then you can just use these buttons here to change. So two would be radio two, radio three, which we'll keep on radio one for you for now. Okay, and again, you can go through the radio stations like that as well. Okay, now to connect your phone, you just need to push the button that says phone. It will come up saying no paired devices. Okay, that you can see that. You just need to click this button here to add. Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. There you go. So you go to your Bluetooth device list, search for sync, select it, follow the instructions that will come up on this screen, just enter the code and it will all be connected up. And then to play songs through your phone, you can just push that one there. Okay. If you wanted to play songs through a cable, you plug your phone into the auxiliary cable just down there and you'll push the aux button. Okay, or CD, put a CD in here, push the CD button. If you want to eject a CD, you've got that button there. Okay, got a button here for traffic info. I don't know if you can see that very well. There you go, traffic info. Okay, so that will sort of give you the latest updates on the roads. Um, and then you've also got another lock button here that will light up when the vehicle is locked. Okay, so just like that, it will indicate the vehicle is locked. Okay. In order to start the vehicle, you need to have your foot fully down on the clutch and push the start button there, okay? If you have got any other questions, you can just refer back to this video in, in the future or you can just give us a call. Thank you and we'll see you soon.